remember looking at this a while ago, but the pattern has kind of come back to me and I kind of like it more and more as I think about it. So with one of our customers, we've deployed the uh, SOPS uh, operator uh, for Kubernetes. And what's really nice about this SOPS operator is that you can uh, commit a, a, an encrypted uh, custom resource that's encrypted with a KMS key. And that KMS key is protected with your IAM credentials so that you're still using the whole IAM uh, paradigm that you've established uh, to manage your encrypted secrets that are committed to Git. And what's nice about this, uh, as opposed to like Git's crypt secrets or the other things is in those other models, you still have to manage the encryption key. And you have to make sure that things don't get accidentally uh, decrypted and committed to source control. Um, I love this pattern where the KMS key is used. Now, uh, with Terraform, we have this similar problem, right? Uh, that uh, everyone knows about, right? that you can read your encrypted secret from SSM and you can use that to provision this resource over here. And in the process, your, your, that, uh, that, uh, that secret value uh, is stored in the Terraform state um, as, part, as a result of that transitive process. So how do we get around that? Uh, so it doesn't need to be in the Terraform state. And it sounds like, uh, Matt, you're saying that you can accomplish something like that using the uh, SOPS provider. Oh, I don't know uh, if you can get files. it out of your Terraform state. Oh, um, okay. I mean, okay. no, there's no, you know, Terraform yeah. state is Terraform state. It's never, yeah. Okay, yeah. you're never going to get your secrets out of that. I, don't, I never even try. But uh, I, yeah. I think that, um, I forget. Let me look at that thread real quick. Um, but I remember, uh, you know, they were looking for an integration so that they could um, have Amplify pull values from Parameter Store or Secret Manager. Um, and they were talking about committing some tokens to source. It was Michael uh, who actually opened up the Amplify issue. Um, mm -hmm. You know, committing the, you know, secrets to source um, is... You know, you don't need to do that if you, I mean, you're, you're committing secrets to source, but they're encrypted. So I think that's yeah. the, what I was suggesting for him. It's okay. in regards to getting them out of your Terraform state file. I, I don't think. Yeah, but, well, but, but what's the difference though? Like if you just use uh, the SSM uh, resource, a uh, data source and uh, read the secret from SSM and then provision the. Um, Only that uh, it's not GitOps. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I don't enough. think it's, it's all, sorry, yes. I, I think I was just uh, referring to his point about, you know, committing some tokens to source, um, yeah. where it seemed like he didn't, maybe he didn't know about SOPs, and the fact that you can encrypt your, you know, secrets at, if you're committing them to yeah. source, so I figured I'd mention it, but. Um, okay, that makes sense. And do you know yeah. if this uh, provider, uh, unrelated, well, related but unrelated, I was just curious if it also supports, um, like, or do you know how the provider works? Is it under the hood? Is it using just the SOPS CLI? I believe it is. Um, oh, or or okay. SOPS is now written in um, in Go. Like they transitioned yeah. from some other Python or something like that to Go. So I think it's using the SOPS um, actual Golang code, like calling out to the 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 SOPS. Uh, I don't know. We call that an SDK in Golang. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure that's the case. It's the it's the SOPS uh, Go library. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I, so so then it probably supports the full feature set of SOPS. Uh, I'm just curious, like if this will work with uh, KMS just as much as the uh, SOPS operator would work with KMS. The um, yeah, it it, it works with KMS. Um, the only thing that it doesn't do is it will not write out a new SOPS file for you, which I actually have some use cases for, and there's an issue open about. Um, but I don't believe Carl, who's the um, maintainer, was interested in implementing that, um, or it was like it's something really he... funky writing anything in Terraform in terms of a file. Uh, and then what you're going to get is people writing uh, something to a file and then trying to read from that file in the same Terraform uh, module. And that never works uh -huh. because yeah. of uh, the how how deterministic the state needs to be, and it's pre it's done as part of the plan, and 